Hello, good morning viewers. Let me show you a shortcut to find the square root of a sword. But if you want to learn the traditional way, you can still check on the link above. Okay, before you start, I would like to let you know that you can only do this if you can transform the sword in this form. If you have a square root of m plus n, then plus or minus 2 multiplied by m n. If the square root of your sword can be written in this form, this is exactly equal to square root of m plus or minus square root of n all squared under square root. And from here you can see power of 2 will just cancel the square root and this will be equal to square root of m plus or minus square root of n. So now let us apply the same idea to solve these three problems. The first one is square root of 5 minus 2 root 6. So we have the first one square root of 5 minus 2 root 6. So now let us relate this and this together. From here you can see we have 2 here, we have 2 here, so we have no problem with that one. Under the root we have m multiplied by n and here we have 6. We have m plus n and here we have 5. This implies that we have to think of two numbers which when multiplied together we get 6 and when added off together we get 5. And the numbers are 3 and 2. Having known the numbers we can now write our square root in this form. So this is equal to the square root of root 3 minus root 2 all squared and from here square root will cancel the square and finally our answer is square root of 3 minus square root of 2. But if you write square root of 2 minus square root of 3 you have to take the absolute value because square root of 3 is greater than square root of 2. Now let us take the next one. You can see this is our final answer. The second question is square root of 7 plus 4 root 3. We have square root of 7 plus 4 multiplied by root 3. You can see that this is 4 not 2, therefore we have to write it in terms of 2. And 4 can be written as 2 multiplied by 2. So this is equal to square root of 7 plus 2 multiplied by 2 root 3. And now we may decide to take this 2 inside this square root. But before you do that, you have to square 2. Square of 2 is 4. So we multiply 4 by 3. This is equal to square root of 7 plus 2 multiplied by root of 12 because 4 times 3 is 12. Now we are going to think of two numbers which one multiplied together we get 12 and when added off together we get 7 and the numbers are 4 and 3. Therefore this becomes root 4 plus root 3 all squared under square root. Square root will cancel square. We are only left with square root of 4 plus square root of 3 and square root of 4 is 2. So we have finally our answer is 2 plus root 3. Now let us take our final problem. We have the square root of 7 plus 3 root 5. Square root of 7 plus 3. 3 root 5. Again, this is 3 not 2, and 3 cannot be written as a multiple of 2. So we can directly take this 3 in root 5. And before you do that, you have to square 3, and square of 3 is 9. So this is equal to square root of 7 plus root of 9 multiplied by 5 is 4 to 5. 
So the question is, how can we introduce 2 right here? We can do that by multiplying that root 45 by 2. And we have to multiply 7 also by 2. So we have something like this. 14, because 7 multiplied by 2 is 14, plus 2 multiplied by root 45 is 2 root 45. But remember that this is not equal to this. To make them equal, we have to divide by 2 because we have multiplied by 2. So we are going to divide this by 2. And now we are free to take our square root. Okay, since we have 14 plus 2 root 45, we can take off two numbers, which one multiplied together, we have 45. And when added off together, we have 14. And the numbers are 9 and 5, because 9 multiplied by 5 is 45, and 9 plus 5 is equal to 14. So this is equal to square root of 1 over 2, root 9 plus root 5 all squared. From here you can see 1 over 2 is multiplying the whole of this, therefore we are going to take their square root separately. So this is equal to the square root of 1 over 2 multiplied by the square root of root 9 is 3 plus root 5 all squared. And from here square will cancel the square root and finally our answer is 1 divided by root 2 then multiply by 3 plus root 5. If you like you can rationalize this by multiplying the top and the bottom by root 2 and that will be equal to root 2 divided by 2 multiplied by 3 plus root 5. Again, if you like, you can distribute and this becomes 3 over 2 root 2 plus root 10 divided by 2. And this is our final answer. And this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos.